logarithmic change of base identities. So as we discussed in question 40, the previous one, we are going to apply the change of base formula to prove this identity. It is 1 over log 8a minus 1 over log 2a equals to 1 over log 4a. Now, here is a quick reminder for the change of base formula. Let's say we have log a of x, right? Then, if we want to change the base from a to b, it becomes log b of x. So we change the base from a to b divided by log b of a, correct? So that is our change of base formula, right? Now see how we can apply this formula and solve this kind of a question. So let's first look into log 8a. So let's say we have log of 8a, right? Now, if I want to change the base from a to a and using this formula, see what happens. See, I, so I'll write log of a, I'm changing 8 to a, a of a over log a of 8, correct? So see, if you compare this with that change of base formula, so I changed from 8 instead of b to a, right? So that is how, and I baby change replaced by a a, right? So now you will see log a of a is one, correct? Log a of a is one, so you get one over log a of eight, perfect, right? So therefore, you see we can write one over log eight to the base eight of a as log eight of a, kind of reciprocal. Do you see that? So that's what we are going to do here. So we'll replace. 1 over, so we'll start with the left side and we can write 1 over log 8a as log of a8. Do you see that? Similarly, applying this property, we can write 1 over log 2a as this minus here, so we'll say log a of 2. So that becomes the expression on the left side of equality. Do you see that? That is our left side. Now, we can apply the quotient rule, correct? Now, if you apply the quotient rule, you get log a of 8 divided by 2, correct? Which is equal to log a of 4. So, we got log a of 4. On the right side, we have a reciprocal of this. So, we can now see that this could be written in a similar fashion as equal to 1 over log 4 of a. So again change the base. So reverse it, right? When you reverse it, it becomes 1 over that. And that is our right side. And this is how we apply change of base formula to do these reciprocal kind of identities. I hope you appreciate it, okay? So, put your comments and share them with your friends. We'll move on to some more similar questions. Thank you.